welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed my last video on how to make Malabar Dum Biryani. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the many ways to make chicken stir fry. I'll also be showing you a very interesting technique called velveting in this recipe. If you like this recipe, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos. So without further ado, let's move on to our recipe. Let's marinate the chicken pieces first. In a bowl, take thinly cut chicken pieces, some salt, 1 tablespoon rice wine, 1 egg white, and mix well. Now add 1 tablespoon cornstarch and coat every chicken piece well. The process of marinating the meat in egg white, cornstarch, and wine is called velveting. It makes the meat really soft and velvety. Mix everything well and keep it aside for 30 minutes. And while we wait for the chicken to marinate, we can prepare the stir-fry sauce and get the vegetables ready. To make the stir-fry sauce, mix together half a cup chicken broth, one teaspoon black pepper, half a cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of rice cooking wine, one tablespoon minced garlic, two tablespoons sesame oil, and half a cup of oyster sauce. Mix this well and set this aside. Here are all my stir-fry vegetables. I have red and green bell peppers, mushrooms, broccoli, carrots, onions, and some snow peas. You can also add zucchini if you have that at home. You don't have to use exactly the same combination of vegetables. You can also add any other vegetables that you may like. Or if you don't like some of these vegetables, you can skip them as well. This is about one pound of vegetables altogether. I use one pound vegetables for one pound chicken. Let's also make the cornstarch mixture, which we'll be using to thicken the sauce later. Mix equal parts of cornstarch and water and whisk it till no lumps are seen. I use two tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. Now in a wok or any other pan that you have, heat some oil and add all the vegetables and stir fry this for about two to three minutes. We want the veggies to be nice and crispy so don't cook it for too long. Remember, all these vegetables can be eaten raw, so we don't really want them cooked too much. The stir-fry tastes way better if the vegetables are crispy. After 3 minutes, take them out of the pan and keep it aside. It's been 30 minutes now, so let's prepare the chicken for the stir-fry. After velveting the chicken, you can either fry the chicken or boil it. I'm using the boiling technique for today's preparation. In a pan, add water and bring it to a boil. I used about three to three and a half cups of water. It doesn't really matter how much water you use as long as the chicken pieces are submerged in the water when we cook. When the water boils, reduce the flame to low and add the chicken pieces. Once you add all the chicken pieces, Turn the flame to medium and cook for 5 minutes. And now take the chicken out and keep it aside. Now in the same pan we stir fried the vegetables before. Add the sauce that we prepared earlier and bring it to a boil. Add the chicken and coat them well with the sauce. Cook this for about 2 minutes in the sauce. Then. Add the stir-fried vegetables and mix everything well. Add the cornstarch mixture, one tablespoon at a time to thicken the sauce. You shouldn't need more than two tablespoons of the cornstarch mixture. Cook this for about one to two minutes. It's been two minutes and now we can turn off the flame. Chicken vegetable stir fry is ready to be served. Serve this with white rice, sticky rice, or with noodles. So guys, please try this really easy chicken stir fry recipe. 
and let me know how it tastes. Don't forget to comment and share your thoughts about the dish and the recipe. If you like this recipe, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share the video. And subscribe to my channel. Until my next video, see ya! Bye!